bullying. We're kicking it together. At the Action Martial Arts Hall of Fame weekend, staying alongside two-time world heavyweight boxing champion Tim Witherspoon. We are here promoting bullying. We're kicking it. Tim is meeting some great fans from across the country. Tim, how's your Hall of Honors experience treating you? Uh, really good. It's really nice. All the energy, all the electricity flying around, everybody smiling. Um, I'm looking forward already to come back next time. So it's been a while since a lot of people have seen you. People might be wondering, what are you up to these days? Oh, well, um, um, yeah, I haven't been fighting for a while. Um, but what I've been doing is uh, trying to, org well, not me and a lot of other people, trying to organize uh, some type of union uh, for boxing. We're the only sport that doesn't have support when you retire. Um, and we have a lot of former boxer passed away. They haven't, you know, they couldn't bury themselves. There's a lot of issues after uh, your boxing career is over. And so I've been um, involved with some groups uh, uh, that's trying to eliminate uh, the struggle for boxers when their career is over. So uh, the Boxing Organizing Committee, uh, the BOC, is one of them uh, that's doing it. But you have several other uh, 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 fundraising uh, communities that, that's, that's trying to uh, help former boxers out. That's a fantastic cause. And we've seen over the years, whether it be a boxer, MMA, or even pro wrestling, Getting something unionized or something passed, or even like healthcare for former NFL players, it's like pulling teeth. Do you think we're getting to the point now where there's more awareness and education where that can become a reality down the road? Yeah, um, yes it is. Um, you know, we have to teach our young um, boxing. We also have to teach them courtesy, to be courteous. We also have to uh, show them how when they, when they get money, uh, to do the right thing with their money. We have to get, we have to start at the bottom and get them ready so it won't be no embarrassment um, when they get when they get to the point where I got so um, there's a lot of if this is what you're saying there's a lot of organizations uh, we're trying to do that we're trying to start at young we're trying to take care of the middle and the, and the people that's retired we're trying to do that uh, so we don't have to go through these type of things so um, yeah I think it's very important that we get these amateurs and start out there first we can't leave them out because they're the future of the sports that we're in. For sure, and the heavyweight division has experienced a bit of a renaissance in, in recent years. Anthony Joshua, Deontay Wilder rematching Tyson Fury. That fight could go either way. Anthony Joshua got his world title back from Andy Ruiz. What are your thoughts on the overall state of the division right now? Well, well the thing is, I've been, I have been going to uh, England for the last 15 years, staying like six months at a time, five months uh, training, doing events and stuff. And um, um, I met Anthony Joshua. I also was at events. My son fought. My son fought on um, uh, Dante Wilder's cards. So I had, I had been, I had uh, got a, some experience uh, going around in the last ten years meeting these guys. And um, I, 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 you know, I, I don't think that um, um, you was asking me the state of it, right? Um, there's more money now than it was when we, the boxers, are getting paid more money than we, than we were getting. But but the talent and the skills are not matching up. They're not matching up the way to where we were. Um, um, so, and a lot of the old teachers has passed away. And if you didn't get that knowledge, it's kind of like a struggle. I was fortunate to have a trainer, Slim Jim Robinson, who taught me uh, uh, a lot of things, a lot of good things in the ring and off, out, out of the ring. And um, a lot of these young boxers today uh, don't have that. They, when, okay, the build up to the fight is beautiful. All the ads, all the promotions, you know, all the money, they're getting way more money. But as soon as that bell ring, I get disappointed because I don't see uh, the, the, the talent, the styles that I used to see where the fans um, appreciate. So, um, you know, it's it's just not matching up. And so so um, the, the, the young boxers today are not doing the things that we did. Um, and, and now we got to find, they like changing some of the history, some of the education of, of, of what we were taught. You know, like guys, they take their hands and they take their lead hand and be out there touching like this, right? And, and I, I, you know, they go like this and they put their hand like that and they jump back and stuff like that. And I think they do that because they lack defense. They're not aware of their opponent or what they're going to do. And I think they do that. And I think that came from Europe. They keep putting their hands like that to fill. If you can do this, you can get a point. So when I see that, I said, why are they touching them? If you can touch your opponent, you can get a point. So that's just some of the things that, that I think that, you know, that's going on today with these younger guys. And um, I, I really started uh, campaigning to be a trainer because I know I got knowledge. I know I can help. I tried to help 
get a job at Anthony Joshua. Um, when I was in England, he's a nice kid. He helped me on the train with my daughter. My daughter's from England. She lives with me in America. So I tried to get a job with him because he's a nice kid, but he's missing out. When he retired, he won't be able to train nobody because he's limited. Even though he made all those million, millions, I'm, I'm thinking about his skills. He can do a lot better if they bring somebody in to just help him just a little bit. Hey, maybe that person is you. Now, is there somebody? Well, I was trying. I was trying. <laughs> well, is there somebody on the scene right now that kind of reminds you of you or some of the guys you fought in the past? Anybody that's like kind of like a throwback fighter? Anybody that's close? No, not really. Um, there's some um, imitation styles um, that a lot of um, these boxers, uh, a lot of the uh, boxers, uh, they try to um, uh, uh, duplicate some of the stuff that we did. Some of them have to do it. Um, and and it's just, it, to me, it's just fading away. It's like some type of new era coming in as far as talent and far as skills. Um, you know, so I was in between. I was in, well, after Muhammad Ali and Joe Frazier, uh, um, um, that era with George Foreman and everybody, um, we, like a lot of the boxes, we were learning from older trainers, train, good trainers uh, back then. And like I said before, if you didn't get that education or that knowledge from them, we lost in this, during these days. And, and you can see with the way some of these boxers fight that maybe the European style is taking over. Because they're, they're doing stuff, they're bouncing around a lot. And when they don't really have to, and um, um, they're parring with the jab, which we didn't, I never was taught to do that. And I think they do that because, like I said before, um, uh, they're not, they, 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 they're scared. They, they, they're scared to get hit, or I don't know. The technique is just odd. Just doing that, it looks pretty, but you can get a lot done not doing that. If you could touch somebody. You can hit them with a. You can get a point. So, um, I'm just saying that um, uh, it's not the same as when we were uh, uh, fighting. Well, do you have any predictions for Wilder and Fury too? Well, you know what? I I, I do think that um, somebody told me that Wilder um, got knocked out in training recently. I don't know how true that is, um, but if he hit Tyson Fury. Um, if he hit Tyson Fury, Tyson Fury's gone. Um, I do believe if Tyson Fury can punch too, because I held the pass with him in, in Ireland, um, he can punch. I believe if he hit uh, Wilder, Wilder can go. But my thing is, is that when that bell rings, I'm going to see the same fight as I saw before. I'm not really, because I, I know a lot of things, I don't know everything, but I know a lot of things. I'm going to be disappointed that these two fantastic boxers are stepping in the ring. The buildup for the fight was really beautiful. And as soon as the bell ring, we're going to see amateurs. We're going to see an amateur styles. If I didn't know boxing, I probably would enjoy it. Because I was heavyweight champion of the world, I learned a whole lot of things. I can talk really good compared to a lot of my mates, that uh, my friends that were in the boxing game. There's a lot of my friends, and I feel sorry for them. Some passed away, some still here. They can't communicate. They can't walk. They walk with a stumble. Um, I really appreciate uh, me having a good trainer. But when that bell rings, I get disappointed. But the hype, the crowd... The people that don't know really the sport, Once that love boxing, long, they enjoy it. But me, as a former two-time heavyweight champ of the world, I get disappointed. And then I try to enjoy the fight. One time, I just walked away from the fight when they had that fight around the sixth round. I said, I got bored. But the average boxing fan, well, not the average boxing fan, the people that that know that that's watching it, they're going to enjoy it. But me knowing a lot of stuff is not going to really, I'm not going to really enjoy the fight. I think there's a lot more that, that they can uh, bring to the table if they change or bring, bring uh, get somebody to help train them, learn a couple of things. They don't have to learn 20. There's three or four things that are, that it helped them. Well, you know what? I'll tell you what we have enjoyed. Our time with you. You're a true legend in the sport. Before we let you, you go, where can fans find you online? Um, well, 
online, I'm on Facebook, uh, Tim Witherspoon, Timothy Witherspoon. Uh, my email is timwitherspoon at hotmail.com. Um, I really haven't really implied myself, um, you know, uh, with the boxing after my career was over. But then I thought about it, saying, you know what, I'm a really good trainer. Um, I can talk really well. I can make a lot of champions. So now I'm trying to really uh, force the issue. I'm going to start training people. The name of our group is going to be the Raiders. It's Tim Witherspoon, Raiders of Boxing. And um, I'm going to try to build a squad and uh, try to make a lot of people happy.